Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have such an exciting video because I'm not lying when I'm telling you. This is one of the coolest Funko Pops ever. Just wait till you see this thing. So if you guys watched my last video, which if you haven't, you should go check it out. I went on a two part mall Funko Pop hunt. I visited, I think eight different stores, such as Five Below, Box Lunch, Hot Topic, GameStop, Target, Barnes and Noble, definitely a few more. And in the second part, I went to True Believers, which is an incredible pop store. They have a ton of collectibles as well. And while I was there, I was checking out the Grail Wall, which you're gonna have to go watch the last video to see, because they had some amazing Grails. It's all on one of their walls behind the register, and I had seen a pop that I literally have never seen before. And that was an amazing, amazing Star Wars three pack. Now I know what you're thinking, it's not that one, but Guys, this is like one of the coolest pops I've ever seen. When I looked at it, it looked like almost like a like a stage for a Broadway show and they had different things on it. I can't explain it, but when I saw it, they had it there and I was like so intrigued by it. I needed to know more about it. So as soon as I came home, of course, as any collector would, I got to work and I started searching it up and I found it and I ended up buying it. So it arrived finally and now we're gonna take a look and open this box together. I have not opened this, it's still sealed and I am frankly so excited because this is one of the coolest pops I have ever seen to exist. This is also a pretty old pop, so I'm gonna start opening it up now, but I wanna say this is at least dating back to 2015, but I'm gonna double check when we open this up. So, oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, I love this pop so much. This, oh my gosh guys oh my gosh i can't believe i'm holding this this is the i was correct 2015 three pack from star wars it is job of the hut slave leia and salacious b crumb check this freaking pop out so what i've gathered from this is that it was actually back when a walmart exclusive of course, back then I was not collecting pops, so I literally would not have known, but I saw this in the video. If you go back to part two, you'll definitely spot it in one of the photos. And oh my gosh, I was just absolutely blown away. I love that Princess Leia just looks so tiny. And I love that like Jabba the Hutt is just so big. So it the proportions for me really got me. And I thought this was just the coolest pop. As you can see, this pop is huge compared to, for example, I'll grab the box from my Sabine Wren Star Wars Rebels pop. So this is a standard pop and this is the three pack. So as you can see for size comparison, this pop is huge. So I don't think I'm gonna take this out of the box because, oh my gosh. Guys, it still has the original tape on it. <laughs> Look at that, it's still freaking sealed. I couldn't really tell by the photos when I had seen this if it was sealed or not but it is still sealed and oh my gosh, let's take a closer look. There's Salacious B. Crumb back there. He's so cute, he reminds me of Suki, which is our cat. Go check out some of my other videos and you'll see her and you'll hear her in the background. And there is Slave Leia and there is Jabba the Hutt and the proportions again just kill me. I love this pop so much. I think it is so freaking cool. This is what's so cool too. It comes on this little platform here, so they all kind of sit on it and you can use it as a display piece and I can't tell if there's any cardboard in the back there. Let's see. Oh yeah, there definitely is. Hold on. Okay, so there's like a piece of, you know, kind of like, for example, Sabine Wren's box, there's like a backing inside up against the back of the box, if that makes sense. But there's like a little background in there. I like to keep those a lot because they make really cool backgrounds for photos. That's a helpful tip that I love. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, you can see there's some markings on it back there. So that is a background. So once again, I just love this pop. It's really funny because when I first started collecting and up until even a couple months ago, I would have never thought I'd be buying the Star Wars three pack. I haven't really watched the movies, which I know I definitely need to, and I really want to. 
but I've really gotten into the pops because they're just so unique and they're just so beautifully sculpted. I really like this one too because it's kind of like the older mold of Funko. So for example, like Leia's head is really big and her body's really tiny and Jabba the Hutt looks like you can tell it's an older pop, which I really love the older Funko pieces. So I'm so excited to add this to my collection. Let me know what you guys think of this awesome pop. Again, I'll show you one last look up close here, but it is such a cool one and I'm so excited to have this in my collection. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and let me know if you collect Star Wars or if you just love the franchise overall and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!